So here we are with Phil Vickery standing in London's Paddington Station, trains heading west, which is your part of the world, certainly is. heading towards Cardiff for uh, Wales versus England, a game that you've played in many, many times, Phil, but no more. It's over. I know, it feels, it's quite a sad day, actually, but I have to say, the anticipation, England, Wales, what Cardiff's like now, even kickoff. I wish I could be there, believe me. Unfortunately, I'm not. But I'm going to send uh, the guys off. I'm going to send the, the trophy down. And I hope, this is what I sincerely hope, that England are going to put on a good show tonight and, and, and try and win it for us. So we're here. You're going to send off a special RBS train, aren't you? Yes. You're going to be waving them off. Are you actually driving the train or just waving? That would be brilliant if I could drive the well, train. Well, it depends. That, you got that, to... that would be a dream come true. Goodness knows where you'd end up. Probably end up in Cornwall, back where you come from. I know. Could well do. No, I think it's great. I think it's, it's something which RBS are particularly looking for, helping supporters, promoting the, the competition. It's already a fantastic tournament. We know that. You love it, I love it. We all love it. Making it easier for people to get down and get back because tonight, when the guys run out of the Millennium, there'll be a lot of red shirts. There won't be a lot of love there. And the more of our own supporters we can send down, the better. Well, as you well know, in 2003, the England team went to win the Grand Slam. Perfect preparation for the World Cup, which you went on to win. You were part of the team. Fantastic. As you also well know, four years on, you ripped off the rule book completely, so sort of almost shambled into the World Cup and ended up in the final. I mean, you nearly won the whole thing. So I guess there's no sort of definitive way of doing it. No. Uh I think that's what that's what we love about sport. There is no rights and wrongs. How does it happen? Well, I don't know. It's crazy, really, and trying to make sense of it. I would never want to because that's what makes it special. I think for me, with this England team, particularly after coming off the back of the autumns, saw some fantastic rugby being played, particularly against Australia. I think they were taught a bit of a lesson against South Africa. The physicality. The, the intensity, real test match Yeah, uh, you would have fancied that, Phil. Yeah, and I, and I think the guys who played in that would have learnt a lot. I don't like losing, but I think it was actually a good experience for that England team. And they'll have to, to use that experience, particularly of that game, because it's going to be very similar tonight at Millennium. All right, take the pride aside against a very physical team, back to against the wall, under pressure themselves, very similar to that Springbok team. And let's see how this England team, uh, what have they learnt from that? How are they going to take it forward? And I'm, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be a fantastic evening and, and a great game. Of now, we were saying just before this interview, Phil, I mean, it seems five minutes ago, and you've not changed a bit, he lied, um, five minutes ago that you were, your words, your words, a fat popping Gloucester. Yeah. And here we are now, 15 years on, two World Cup finals, one World Cup, MBE, Heineken Cup, uh, the Premiership, everything. You've won everything there is, and it's over. Um, it's amazing, isn't it? How did it go quickly, or when you think about the injuries and everything else? Uh, no, you. It, it happened. I've had a you know a fantastic career. And, uh, would I have changed anything? No. Would, would I want to be have the bad injuries? No, of course I wouldn't. But I think, but I think back to 1998, my first cap against Wales at Twickenham. And I remember Jason Leonard telling me, uh, you know. Don't worry about it, it'll be over so quick. You know, just concentrate, enjoy it. And I remember running out of the tunnel and singing a national anthem for the first time uh, as a full international. And then into the game, Scott Cornell short on me and near knocked me out. I couldn't remember anything anyway. I think I was, Colin Chalvis punched me, someone stamped on me, and it was kind of the game was over. And we'd won, <laughs> and that was kind of my experience. And then the first cap. And, the Welsh guys coming over with a glass of wine thinking that this is a fantastic experience. I didn't realise I had to drink 30 of them and then I got taken to bed. So all in all, uh, you know, the start against Wales and, and here today talking about Wales is emotional, uh, but a wonderful, wonderful competition. And I remember you saying to me back in 2003, after the World Cup final, whatever happens in your life, nobody will ever be able to take that medal and that memory away from you. No, but I, mean, I think, you know, the medal, of course, is important, but the memories are, for me, as important. Just talk about where I was at, the people that I've played with, the people I've played against, the stadiums I've played at, I sat next to Gareth Edwards last night, and, you know, that was an absolute privilege, you know, for me, and, you know, unbelievable. Sat in a, in, a, in a rugby club in Wales, admittedly, 150 people get a standing ovation to this day when he walks through. That's what rugby does to people. And 
if I can be associated with that, then I'm a happy man. But I'll tell you what else is unbelievable. France, Wales and Ireland have all won that trophy with a grand slam since 2003. England have not even won the Six Nations since then. Is it time? It is time. Can it be done? I don't know. I like the looks of this England team. I'm with the boys in spirit tonight for, for sure and I'm looking forward to what will be undoubtedly a very entertaining RBS Six Nations. That's another thing, talking about rugby stories, my first tour uh, Red Reef coach to Coventry, nothing wrong with Coventry, but it was to Coventry. They had a dinner last Friday night for their tour, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, Fiji and America. The game certainly changed, hasn't it? Well, we don't want to lose it to the game, Phil, and I'm sure we won't. No. So, uh, thanks for all the time, all the years, all the memories, all the victories, and uh, you better get going on that train. Thanks very much.